girl, are you ready? The real Andy of Beverly Hills is here to spill all the tea. So let's talk about this mess. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people of Liquid IV. Liquid IV, it's all about hydration. So if you are into working out, walking, running, jogging, hiking, whatever you are doing that you are losing water and electrolytes, this is for you. Liquid IV will hydrate you twice as fast as water. Super convenient, little packs that you can take anywhere. They have all these amazing flavors, green apple, wild berry, lemon, lime. Uh, the list goes on and on and on. So if you want to get your liquid IV, make sure to go to the link on the description of this video and use my discount code Shademan Empire and you will get 20% off plus free shipping. So what are you waiting for? Go and get your liquid IV right now. Hello Beverly Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. It is four of you live bitches. So happy Independence Day, girl. It's America's birthday and I'm proud to be an American. Okay, I'm not an American, but like soon, bitch, soon, okay. So anyways, happy, happy birthday, United States of America. Celebrate wherever you the hell you want to celebrate today. And um, girl, it is time to talk about the real housewife of New Jersey. Whew, that was a lot of energy. Girl, so Melissa Gorga, Melissa Gorga, OMG. Like, it's getting ridiculous you know like it's giving a uh, desperation right now and it's just getting to another level so the um, the internet is calling miss melissa out because of the fake paparazzi's pictures girl she's literally going around the streets and she's doing browning windham Burks everywhere you know i mean you should, if you're a fan of Bravo, you know who Bramwin Wittenberg is, you know. She was known for calling the paparazzi on herself constantly all of the time, okay. She got caught more than once doing that. And apparently Melissa Gorga is doing the same way. Girl, it's just, it's, it, it's kind of like, it's giving... Remember when Raquel Levis from Vanderpump Rose was caught by TMC and she was like, oh... Oh, hi. Oh, my God. You caught me, you know, on this nail salon. Oh, my God. You know, like that weird thing. Except that she's always modeling, you know, and always kind of like, mm, mm, pose, pose, you know. I'm like, oh, my God. Girl, I know that she's going on this campaign of trying to be very popular so the show doesn't fire her, right? But it's just getting to be like like a little bit too much so first of all the other day i think there was i don't know i think they were celebrating pride in new jersey or something and uh she went on with a whole pride outfit which was but well, not even a pride outfit it was like you know clothes and then she had on top like this net with the the rainbow color right which okay love the support i'm not gonna be i'm, I'm gonna deny it but the thing is, she goes to a gas station and then the paparazzis are there at a gas station. Girl, and she's all like, mm, oh, mm. you know, I'm like, really? <laughs> and the worst part is no one saw her ever again that day. Wow. I mean, look. I don't know if she's doing it to like, oh, look, gays, I'm supporting you, you know, uh, or, or, or what's actually the deal between all of these. But that's not the big one. Like yesterday, she was again caught, okay, and walking randomly through the streets. And you can see, and you can, you can hear all like the pictures of the paparazzis, you know, like, and I'm like, girl, 
she really thinks that she's like Kim Kardashian or something. You know, like, she really thinks that she's at that level. I'm like, oh, my God. Not you doing this as your husband is just being sued for $3,000 for unpaid fees. Again. What about you? I don't know. Take your own pictures and sell them. Help your husband. Open an OnlyFans. Do something, girl. Instead of like being faking paparazzi's pictures. That it's so obvious that it just become cringy. You know? I will, be, I will say to me a real paparazzi picture. First of all, you have to be an A-list celebrity. Okay? Because I don't think that a lot of people really cares about about this kind of like reality stars to that level of having a bunch of paparazzi going, you know, and taking pictures of you, okay? Everyone knows kind of like that TMC is just like one call away from any celebrity to just send someone and do like a random interview. So it, it kind of like it's losing its credibility like as it goes, right? So why keep doing this to yourself, girl, you know? Um, instead of like wasting your time on this, you also maybe you should be just working on mending the fences with Teresa because I think that's the only way that she could maybe, you know, um, make things easier for herself if she returns to the show, which by the way, no one knows what is going to happen, okay? Andy Cohen has been doing a lot of like, thinking he has been going around saying that he can actually imagine a future of the show without Melissa and Teresa, okay? And I'm like, girl, I do and I don't, you know? I think that the only way that the show could move on without them will be if they also fire Margaret Josephs, they make Jennifer Fessler a full-time, and they bring, like, two new, new housewives. You know, maybe it could move on that way. But, like, if they leave Margaret on that show and not Teresa, it's, it's just going to go down. It's just going to go down. To be very honest with you, I'm not even that hateful of Melissa. I'm really more, like, I cannot stand Margaret Josephs, and it's, it annoys me a lot that Melissa is so afraid and so scared of Margaret that she is just letting her do whatever she wants to do. I mean, the whole thing is just a mess, you know? So anyways, that's what is going on. Miss Melissa Gorga going around faking, you know, paparazzi's photo shoots everywhere. Um, so let me know what you guys think on uh, the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewives of New Jersey or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Guys, I have a new episode on my new podcast. It dropped yesterday, okay? So make sure to check it out. It's on my Patreon. And if you want to have a, person, a personalized message from me, now you can book me through Cameo. The links to everything are on my description below. And I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. It's time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Jibu Beauty. They have an amazing skincare collection that will make your skin and your soul look amazing. Their personal mission in life is to make your skin glow. From the Super Duo to the Multitasking Tint Moisturizer to even their new Enchanted Bloom Collection, everything that they offer is just perfection. 
So if you want to get your products, make sure to go to the link on the description below and do not forget to use my discount code ANDY15 and you will get between 15 and 20% off. So get your products right now. Jibu Beauty, inspired by dreams, made for reality.